Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther, and today we're going to check out some really nice 3D stroke text, which looks transparent. Illustrator. I gotta select the type tool, click. I'm gonna type in the letter R, because it looks really nice. I gotta select it, press and hold Shift, scale it up. I right click, create outline. I gotta select a lighter gray. I gotta go to the effects, 3D materials, 3D classics, extrude and bevel classic. I pretty much like the default how it is. I can inc increase the extrusion depth. I gotta click OK. OK, now I gotta go to the object, expand appearance. Right click on group, right click on group. Now everything should be separated. There you go. Now I'm going to select this and I'm going to press and hold shift also select this rectangle and I'm going to go to the Pathfinder and click on Unite. If you don't have the Pathfinder, go to the Windows and select the Pathfinder, which is located right here. Now we should be pretty much good. I'm going to select them all. I'm going to recolor it to black. And now I'm going to swap it from field to stroke. I'm going to decrease the stroke thickness to zero. I'm going to go with zero 0.5. As we can see, we got like another form in here. I'm going to unite it with the pathfinder. There you go. I'm going to select them all, go to the strokes and make the corners around it. Now we're pretty much good. I'm going to select this letter R at the front. I'm going to press and hold out, drag it and let's put it to the back and it should intersect here perfectly. Yeah, it pretty much did. I'm going to press control Y to see what is going on. I'm going to also drag it a little bit down. There you go. Press Control Y again to go back. Now we still have a couple of lines in here which are or basically need to be connected. So we got like a line here that connects the front with the bottom, but here this uh, corner is not connected. So I'm going to select the pen tool and I'm going to do it manually. I'm going to click here on the center point and on the center point too. So now it's connected. I'm going to do the same thing with this and with the rest which are disconnected there and this also is disconnected and this is it look at that it looks pretty nice and this is how you make a 3d transparent typo in illustrator thank you so much for watching and if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can notify with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end have a good one bye bye